Okay, let's talk about including databases. Now this is again really easy. Um, by default, any database that is active and doesn't have exclude set inside of checkdb settings db is going to be included for the individual operation. So again, I've got op name of checkdb and check table for each one, and that's really advised that you do that. So you notice we have an is active row down here. So anything that is active and doesn't have exclude set for that operation will be included. But you can also include databases manually using the include parameter. You can see here I want only the minion dev and MB demo databases. So when I come here and do it, run it with uh, statement only equals one, I've got MB demo and minion dev. And you notice that MB demo naturally wants to be first. And that has nothing to do with me. That's just the way it comes back from sys databases. Now we also respect your ordering. So if I enter in specific ordering here, and you can see that I'm putting minion dev first, and then uh, minion and MB demo second, I believe. Let's take a look and see what happens. So here I've got minion dev first because it is 10 and 10 and MB demo is 10 and 5. If you don't understand how the ordering works, then go look at the ordering demo. No, if I were to switch, see, so I have minion dev and then and then MB demo. If I wanted to make MB demo first, all I have to do is make that number 11. And then when I run this again, now MB demo is first. And I can, of course, set it back down to five and then run this again. And now MB demo is second again. So you can see that even when we have include parameters here, that we still respect your ordering that you've specified. And you can do all of this without any extra jobs.